how to create a nonpolar, bipolar, capacitor from two electrolytic capacitors. Creating a nonpolar, bipolar, capacitor from two electrolytic capacitors. This method involves connecting two polarized electrolytic capacitors in a specific series configuration to create a capacitor that can handle voltage applied in either direction, positive or negative. I series connection, back to back. Connect the positive terminal of one electrolytic capacitor to the negative terminal of the other electrolytic capacitor. The remaining negative terminal of the first capacitor and the remaining positive terminal of the second capacitor become the two terminals of your newly formed nonpolar capacitor. To how it works. Polarity neutralization. When a voltage is applied in one direction, one of the electrolytic capacitors will be forward biased and behave like a standard capacitor, storing charge. The other capacitor will be reverse biased. However, because it's in series, it limits the current flow and prevents damage to the forward biased capacitor. If the voltage polarity is reversed, the roles of the two capacitors switch. The one that was previously reverse biased now becomes forward biased and stores charge. This back-to-back -back arrangement allows the combined unit to effectively handle AC signals or DC voltages of either polarity. Reduced Capacitance When capacitors are connected in series, the total capacitance total is less than the capacitance of the individual capacitors C1 and C2. The formula for the total capacitance of two capacitors in series is Total is equal to C1 plus C2. If you use two capacitors with the same capacitance value C is equal to C1 is equal to C2, the total capacitance will be half the value of a single capacitor total is equal to C1 plus C2. 2 is equal to C slash 2. Rectification effect. While the combined unit can handle AC, each individual electrolytic capacitor within the series pair will still experience a unidirectional voltage across it during each half cycle of the AC waveform. Essentially, each capacitor rectifies the voltage it sees, charging in one direction and then discharging. Voltage split. In a series connection, the total voltage applied across the combination is divided across the individual capacitors. If the capacitors have equal capacitance, the voltage will be split equally between them, assuming similar leakage characteristics. Three advantages of this configuration. Bipolar operation. The primary advantage is the ability to use the capacitor in circuits where the voltage polarity can change or is undefined, like in AC coupling or some audio circuits. Simpler construction, in situations where a specific bipolar capacitor value isn't readily available or is more expensive, Creating one from two standard electrolytic capacitors can be a cost-effective alternative. Four disadvantages of this configuration. Reduced capacitance. You lose significant capacitance compared to using a single capacitor of the same value. Potential for leakage. Electrolytic capacitors inherently have some leakage current. If the individual capacitors have significant or mismatched leakage, it can affect the voltage division across them and potentially lead to imbalance or premature failure. This risk increases with older or lower quality capacitors. Voltage considerations The voltage rating of the individual electrolytic capacitors must be carefully considered. Since the voltage across the series combination is split, each capacitor must be rated to handle at least the peak voltage that might appear across it. Ideally, each should have a voltage rating greater than half the maximum circuit voltage to provide a safety margin. We important considerations for students. Equal values. It is highly recommended to use two electrolytic capacitors with the same capacitance value.
This ensures a more balanced voltage split across them. Voltage rating The voltage rating of each individual capacitor should be higher than the peak voltage expected in the circuit. A common rule of thumb is to use capacitors with a voltage rating at least twice the expected peak voltage across the combined unit, especially for reliable operation. Leakage resistance Be aware that the leakage resistance of the electrolytic capacitors can influence the voltage division. Ideally, you want capacitors with low and similar leakage characteristics. Using high-quality capacitors is generally advisable. By understanding these points, you can effectively create and utilize a non-polar capacitor using two standard electrolytic capacitors in a back-to-back -back series configuration. Remember to always consider the trade-offs, especially the reduction in capacitance and the importance of voltage ratings.